Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This is just going to be a quick update video to tell you guys a bit about how I prepared for my third and final clinical experience. So let's get straight into it. As per usual, I made sure to reach out to my clinical instructors ahead of time. I did that weeks before the experience to make sure that I could figure out my schedule, what I had to wear, like where I was meeting on the first day, and just kind of general expectations to ensure that at least the beginning of the experience went smoothly. So that was something that I did quite a bit ahead of time. And then I, of course, started doing my onboarding material for this experience. I had to do like my drug screening again. I had to make sure that my TB test was up to date. I had to do a couple of those things on top of doing some of the training that was required of me for going into this, which was just a little bit on EPIC, the system that we're using for documentation at the hospital. So luckily for me, I am pretty familiar with EPIC from my previous two clinicals, so it wasn't too bad. It was just making it through the few hours of the training that I had to do. And then I also had, there was a one-way valve um, kind of module that they had me go through that the team themselves were also going through at the time. So it was kind of a good exposure to reviewing some of that material and seeing what it's like to have that training actually in practice as a whole. Then of course when they approved everything and I made it through the system, they said that I was all good to head over to the hospital and grab my badge. So I went and did that, kind of timed myself on the way over there since I'll be able Able to walk just so that on that first day I was able to really have a good estimate of how long it would take me to get there so that I could be there a bit ahead of schedule to ensure that there weren't going to be any bumps on that first day because we know that being that first day you have a little bit of that like first aid jitters and everything so just to make sure everything went smoothly. Now something that I kind of planned ahead of time which definitely has been really nice that I haven't had to do anything additional on top of what I was already planning was the fact that in my MPTE studying I actually plan for all of the conditions that I am at least supposed to be seeing within my clinical, which those being traumatic brain injuries, spinal cord injuries, some encephalopathy, and a couple of cases where we might be going to the NICU or other specialty units, but those were kind of the things my clinical instructors told me to take a look at, so I made sure to put those into my study plan right in that week beforehand, so that way I was already studying them, had a quick refresher of them before I went in, and then of course I was just kind of thinking through some of the basic examination skills that I was going to be using within the inpatient setting, especially thinking about the neurological population that I was going to be working with. Then it really just came down to the day before preparations, where I really just kind of got my clothes together for the day, made sure that I had everything in the folders, like my assignment lists that I had made for them so that they know what I need to do from a school standpoint, and when we have to do all of our benchmarks and everything. But when it came to the dress code, they basically told me that it's any color scrub pants or joggers and any plain no design t-shirt or the t-shirt of the hospital, which I didn't have. And I had a few, you know, just basic plain shirts, but I wanted to have it be a little bit nicer. So I went out and bought myself a couple, which you'll see when I start putting out the day in the life videos, but it was just a fun little thing to go out and grab some of them so that I could have them for future jobs potentially if I were to continue working at this place afterwards, which I'm kind of hoping that I do end up there in the long term, but I guess we'll see at the end of this experience. But that was pretty much all that I did in preparation for my final clinical. It's a lot smoother this time around since it's you know one of my last experiences so I kind of have the groove of things in there and was able to just kind of jump straight into my preparation without having to think about it too much 
But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below, as well as check out my other day in the life videos. You can look at my past clinicals, you can look at my just regular DPP school, and look out for future videos for my clinical experience number three that will be coming out on Monday. So make sure that you're looking out for that as well as I'm putting out my MPTE study updates with a little bit of a revamp on them at about midweek is probably what I'm expecting with those. So if you're looking forward to them, let me know in the comments as well as feel free to check out if you yourself are studying for the MPTE or if you just in general want a study aid for PT school, my link in the description for 20% off a Picmonic subscription, and you can always utilize their five-day free trial to see if it's right for you. But thank you all so much for watching. This has been KBDPT, and I'll see you all in the next video.